you want all this pimping you can't afford Perform like a punk but wanna win his reward Some suckers give you points but bitch you never scored If you ain't paying pimping then bitch you getting ignored Okay, I'm so sick of these Another thing about a good trapper You know she's gonna understand That she's gonna have to be proactive as opposed to reactive Meaning she's gonna have to make it happen Instead of sitting back and waiting for it to happen See, you got a lot of females that are reactive in nature. I call it the in-call mentality. Because when you have an in-call mentality, you have an in-call approach to the game. At the in-call, what do you do? You react. There's not very much proactivity that can take place at the in-call. You, you post an ad. Okay, that's proactive. But after you post the ad, you have to sit back and wait for your phone to jump. You have to wait for that. You can't make tricks, call your phone or text your phone. You have no control over when they call. You have no control over how often they call. The only thing you can do is sit back and wait for that phone to jump. That's it. And then... The, the reality, the truth of it is, when that phone does jump, most of these chicks, they let the trick do most of the talking. Hey, baby, did you wanna did you wanna come and see me? That's you basically saying you don't even know what you're doing. Of course he wanna come see you. That's why he's calling you. That's why he's texting you. Why are you asking them something that should be obvious? Because you don't know what you're doing. You haven't been laced on how to be a hoe, on how to trap, on how to break a trick. You ain't been laced. You haven't been taught anything. So, um, like I said, nine times out of ten, they letting the trick do most of the talking. So they sitting back waiting for the trick to decide if he want to come. And a lot, of, a lot of times they, they sitting back letting the trick decide how much money he going to give them all this type of shit, you know, but for the most part, the in call mentality is having the mindset of sitting back and waiting for it to happen, you know, because then after that phone call, you got to sit back and wait for the trick to get to you. So it's, it's, it's a whole lot of waiting involved. It's not a whole lot of get up and go and make it happen involved, right? And see, the sad part of what's happening in the game right now is that the majority of females that you see down and around, whether they on the carpet with the casinos and the bars or they on the blade, standing on the corner or walking up and down the street, the majority of these, these chicks are outside with an income mentality. You know, so they in an environment, they putting themselves in an environment where in order to be a good trapper, in order to be successful outside, you have to have you have to be proactive. You got to have the mindset of I got to make this happen. If I want to succeed out here, I got to make it happen. So they have a completely backwards approach to, to getting down outside. They on their crisscross shit. You remember how crisscross used to put their clothes on backwards back in the day and do their little dance and shit? That's what a lot of these bitches is doing. You know what I mean? They got a totally backwards approach to the, to the game when it comes to getting down outside. Why you say that, Freeze? Because if you pay attention... If you in a city where they got casinos at and you see the hoes in there and you see how they move, if you in a, if you in an area where you know hoes is getting down in bars and shit like that and you see hoes in there and you see how they move, if you in an area where it's a blade and it's bitches down on the blade and you pay attention to how they move, they all got one thing in common. They sitting back waiting for it to happen. 
they not even trying to get the, tr the, the they not trying to get the tricks attention because the phone has all of their attention. If they not on social media, they talking on the phone. They either got the phone like this or they got the phone like this. So they can't get the chick the, they can't get the tricks attention because something else has their attention. So the only way they gonna get the tricks attention is if he just so happened to ride past and just so happened to see her and think she's cute enough to pull up on her and try to talk to her. So they waiting for it to happen. Right? But see that good trapper, like I said, that hoe, this a, good, a great trapper, when she's down and around, she's gonna be proactive. She's stepping outside with the mindset of, I gotta make it happen. So, she's doing things to get the trick's attention. So, you know, uh, one of the main things she's gonna do, of course, is speak the right things with her appearance. See, again, them chicks that be out there whose attention is consumed by something else so they can't get the tricks attention like they should be able to. They speak laziness with their appearance. They speak, I'm not serious with their appearance. They speak, I'm only pretending like I want some money, but I really don't care if I make some or not with their appearance. See, when you step outside and it's crazy. I've even seen this in the casinos. Going into the casino to make some money and they got them furry flip-flops on. As I said before, everything you say and everything you do should serve as a, as a form of communication to prove what you believe. So your appearance should be a form of communication to prove that you believe you came outside to make some money. So, them bitches that wear them furry flip-flops, whether it's on the blade, whether it's at the casino, the bar, whatever, you're speaking with your appearance that you don't really care if you make money. You hope you make some money, but it's not a big deal if you don't. You're not intentional about making money. That's what you're communicating with your appearance. You know, when you step outside with up nails, that shit is so, so like cool nowadays. That shit is such a trend. I see so many nowadays with their nails not done. They nails fucked up. You communicating that you, you're not intentional about breaking on the trick. You just hope that he has pity on you and gives you whatever he feels like parting with. You're going to take it. You know, when you got a up hair situation whether it's an old ass weave that need to be redone or some cheap hair or you know what I mean whatever the case you know you communicating that you're not intentional about breaking on the trick but see again that 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 great trapper that woman that's out there serious about breaking the trick who has the mindset of being proactive and making it happen She's going to take the time to get herself together so that she speaks, I want to break on you, you know, with her appearance. Yeah, I want to get, I'm giving you a reason to break yourself to me. I'm giving you a reason to give me everything. That's what she's going to speak with her appearance. So she's going to have the right kind of shoes on. Her dress code is going to be right. She's going to have her, her nails done. She's going to have her hair done. She's going to have her eyebrows done. All that shit. She's going to take the time to look right so that she speaks with her appearance. You need to break yourself to me. With her appearance, she's speaking. The only way you're going to have me is if you break yourself. And then when she opens her mouth, that's going to be another form of communication to prove what she believes, which is 
Yeah, you need to you need to break yourself. I'm not taking just anything. You got to break yourself fucking with me. You dig? So, like I said, this is the great trapper who understands that she got to be proactive and not reactive. So, she's going to speak the right things with her appearance. And as well as speaking the right thing with her appearance, she is going to do things to get the trick's attention. See that hoe? Man, I'm giving up too much motherfucking game on this shit man hey but it's okay though you know why like you know why i don't have a problem giving up this game because i know that the people who's not meant to be successful they not gonna do nothing with the game anyway you dig but again that hold is proactive she understands that acknowledgement is encouragement Acknowledgement is encouragement. So if you acknowledge the trick the right way, you're encouraging the trick the right way to come to you and break himself. So the hoe's going to be doing things to acknowledge the trick and let him know that, yeah, you got action at me. You got action. So when the trick pull up on her, she going to go from there. She going to make it happen. She's going to dictate the conversation. Not aggressively, not with an attitude, not disrespectfully, but professionally, hoishly, seductively. That's how the hoe is going to direct the conversation. That's how she's going to dictate the conversation between her and the trick. She's not going to leave it up to the trick to make the date happen. She's being proactive. So when that trick pull up, she taking charge of the conversation right away. She telling him how it's going to go. She ain't waiting for him to tell her how it's going to go. She's being proactive. Dig this. Nah. I've been stroking relentless, took your waves like this uh -huh. I spoke into existence for her to pay like this In the trenches on a day like this Traffic consistent and so I have to insist that she relay my chips okay. It's a trap with her name on it and my game on it right. Any forces coming against this game, shame on it right. Standing on my pimper from day one and remain on it It carried me through every terrain and I gained on Come it on. Experience joy and pain on it, sustained on it But getting back to this game that I never left